I think it's really important for a creative to have their own dedicated space for their work. Peace guys, I am visual artist Brittany Ann and welcome to my studio. So I am finally finished my studio. There's still some things that need to come in here. For the most part, I'm pretty much finished. Um, I have my desk in here, my computer is in here. I'm, I'm ready to roll. It's really, it's really something to see how this space started off and how I transformed it into um, the perfect studio for me to work in. I had a vision and it was my mission to, uh, you know, make that vision come to life. When we bought this house, um, the main reason I personally love this house was because of this shed. Actually in a, I believe this is a 12 by 24 um, shed. It's a really big shed. It might be about, I believe it's about 200, a little over 200 square feet in here. Um, it, it's just more space than I ever had that's just dedicated for art and that's it. Like I'm not sharing my workspace with my living space, which I'm pretty much used to. I'm not used to having like um, a dedicated space. So yeah, I'm excited. This project maybe all together collectively took about three weeks to complete. Um, yeah, close to three weeks. My contractor who was also a really dear friend of mine, um, for him, I think it collectively took about three days for him to do the renovation part of it, meaning the insulation, the drywall. Um, so it took about him about three days to complete that, which was a big job because this place was literally nothing. Like it was just a work shed. The previous owner used it for storage, a leaf blowers in here, uh, gardening tools. It, it was pretty, you know, it was pretty, it, not dirty, but it was a work shed. It wasn't meant for to be chilling and put couches and pillows in. It was just a work shed. He completely gutted everything and just started from scratch pretty much. That's, you know, that's all we had to do. Thank the Lord, there was already electricity in here. There's a breaker box in here as well, uh, which I heard is pretty good um, to have. So we didn't have to do any electrical work. Um, when my contractor looked at it, he didn't see any issues, like any holes or leaks or anything. It was pretty much like, damn near a perfect shed like there was nothing wrong and i'm just you know grateful every day the blessing that this has brought like this th this was truly a blessing anyway we're gonna get into the tour again i'm not gonna go through every little thing because then the tour will be just too long you know i'll just show you like a general idea of what's in this box or what's in this drawer i'm not gonna get into total detail a little later down the line um but yeah let's get into it I basically just have like older uh, illustrations hanging here. Um, this one I believe is from 2016 and I absolutely love it. I'm not a huge fan of my older illustrations. Um, some of them I do like though. Um, this one also is I believe from 2016 too. And I got a couple of like color palettes. My favorite color palette is any type of brown earth tone color palettes and um, I decided to hang them up because it's just my favorite. You know, I love browns and earth tones. Here's one of my prints, I absolutely love her. Um, this print is called The Incense Return. Her little cat back there. Um, this one's also one of my favorite prints as well, called Cornrow. This one too, it's called Be Dope. Another popular print. This picture is just some stupid <laughs> stupid picture that my ex took of me. I was in Washington DC and he took this picture of me, caught me off guard. It's a dumb picture, but I really like it and I got it hang it here. Uh, up here, I have some of my favorite music stars. I have Aretha up here, Shaka Khan, Stevie Wonder, 
Earth, Wind, and Fire. And then over here, I have Outkast and Miss Erica Badu. Um, a lot of these music artists inspired my art. Um, it's so hard for me to pronounce that word. I'll put it up so you know what I'm talking about. But whenever I listen to music, I see colors and shapes. Um, I've been like that ever since I was a kid. So every time I create, draw, paint, whatever, I have to listen to music so I can see the colors and the shapes. That's why I'm so passionate about music because if I don't see the visuals that I'm used to seeing, like I don't like the song. That's just how I am. Um, but a lot of these artists brings that out in me. So um, I decided to put that little um, tribute to them in my studio because of course I would. <laughs> um, speaking of music, um, down here I have my record player and my speaker. And I have my little small record collection here that I plan on growing. I, had, I used to have a lot more records than that. Don't ask me what happened. <laughs> um, I have some uh, notebooks here that I used to sell. I kind of took them all. There was a flop. I'll talk about that one day, but these were a flop. So I don't think I'm ever going to resell these again, but I do have a whole stack of them. Some of them are really defective, like blurriness and all that. So I just have these here just to be sitting here. Um, this little bronze um, bust statue I got from a thrift store years ago. Um, these are some of the art books that I have. Um, I'm probably going to be getting some more books. Um, this is where my ring light lives. Um, up here, I have my little tassels and these things here, these little crystal ball thingies, um, they are beautiful when the sun catches it and I open the blinds and it's so pretty how it sparkles all over the room. This area here I'm going to be changing probably. Um, right now I just have like a little zebra hook that I have forever. I also got that from the thrift store with some tote bags. This is one of my old tote bags from 2017 I think. Yeah, 2017, and I never got any more, but I like it, and I kept it all these years. So here I have my little rattan. This is like my little makeshift egg chair that everybody loves. Um, I got this from a thrift store as well, but I got it for free from the thrift store. I didn't pay for it. Uh, got my other window over here and this really bright daylight. Um, I need lights, a lot of lights in here because the lights that were built in are not bright enough and as an artist you need ample light. So I have one here and I have one over there as well. Um, over here in this corner is my seating area. This is where people can come when they come and visit me to come sit and be comfortable. So this with the chair, you know, I just want people to be comfortable in the space. Also I have a toddler. So days were like tomorrow, I'm gonna be busy. I have to come in here and pack orders and stuff. She can come in here with me and that's where she can sleep when she takes a nap. Um, up here, these two glass, these are actually encased in glass. They were gifted to me from a company called Fracture. I actually worked with them a couple of months ago. I did a sponsorship for them, um, a paid sponsorship on Instagram, and they gifted me these two. They told me pick any picture I want and they'll encase it in glass for me. They are amazing. These are beautiful. This piece of artwork is actually, um, it's supposed to be for like the Zodiac, but it's my sign, which is a Leo. I'm a Leo. So I actually drew her for all the, my fellow Leos. And she's just so beautiful with her crown. That's, that's probably one of my favorite illustrations. As well as this one. This one is called The Sisterhood. And just a bunch of beautiful black women standing regal together. Just looking like straight fire. Like they are so beautiful. But yeah, I had to get both of those encased in glass. These are huge. I love them. And I wanted them to be in my studio, of course. Over here I have D'Angelo. Absolutely love D'Angelo. Will always love him. <laughs> so I got him there. Uh, over here is the shelf. Actually came with the studio, um, at, with the the shed. The previous owner had it in here. I just actually took it out and cleaned it and spray painted it black. And this is where I how this is well. This is what it looks like right now. It's going to look completely different than this probably in a month. Um, I plan on getting like the the rustic wood crates. And I'm gonna push like I'm probably gonna get like maybe eight of them, and so all this is gonna look different. Trust me. Where I have unused sketchbooks, I didn't use any of these. All these sketchbooks was gifted to me from um, from this company Strathmore. Um, I've been using their paper for years, 
So when they reached out to me, say, hey, you wanna use some more paper? I was like, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so um, they sent me all these sketchbooks. I haven't um, worked at any of them yet because I have two sketchbooks right now I'm currently working on. So um, down here is where I'm gonna keep my old sketchbooks. These are all old um, drawings. It's literally, it's about 300 drawings all together in this big folder here, <laughs> this portfolio folder here, and this one here, all to end this. All together is about 400 drawings and they are from like the past five years. I'm probably gonna do a video on my old, um, my old artwork just so we can all laugh. <laughs> Over here, this is my everyday printer. Um, the printer actually isn't hooked up yet. I had to order a longer cord because it doesn't reach to my computer. Unfortunately, this printer has to be hooked up to the computer. It's not wireless. I have to hook it up. This thing is just not, you know, it's not long enough so I'm gonna get I actually I actually did order it where is it it's under here yeah this is where I keep all my wires so I got a 25 foot um, kind of wire um, I'm not gonna go through all these drawers they're actually pretty kind of empty because I just moved in here but you know just regular stuff I got pens and tape in there um, this drawers where my exacto knife and my box cutter and all that type of stuff that I always need um, and some tissue paper but, and the other drawers are empty so I'm not even gonna go into that but this is like a dupe of the Alex drawers as you can get at Ikea but I got it from Amazon I'd rather have the Ikea one but Ikea is still tripping when it comes to their stock and delivery so I had to go to dupe here this is my desk so I wanted the desk to sit this way so I can look out into the studio and look at everything. Um, I didn't want to be facing the wall. So over here, um, this is my whiteboard and I have more of my artwork um, on here. I have my long term goals, my short term goals, all of that um, written up here. Um, this is another favorite print of mine, it's called The Magic. Um, over here, I'm going to knock it down. Um, is another favorite print of mine. Um, it is called Someone's Bride. You can see that. It's a picture of my sister. I found this picture under my daughter's bed. I don't know why I was under there, but I took it because I love it. Um, over here, I have another, um, you know, color palettes, brown tone and earth tone. Over here is my wonderful pegboard. Like literally, this is probably my favorite thing in the whole studio. Like I literally can have everything hanging up and out of my way, all of my washi tape, my Posca pen markers, all of my Copic and Prismacolor markers, my Prismacolor color, um, color pencils, as well as my Polychromos color pencils. I have paint over there and paint brushes. So um, I have this space over here. It's not empty right now, it should be, but um, this is where I'm gonna put my drawing board, which is over there by the canvas. And this is where I'm gonna be drawing. And this is the holder for my iPad. Now we're gonna swing over here, and this is where I'm going to be doing my painting. So this is my easel here, my canvas. Um, I can't even think of the word. Uh, a paper roll. This is actually the same paper I use for my Copic markers. It's the render no see-through paper, but it comes in a roll. And I'm gonna be using that to tape onto the wall back here and do big drawings. So that's what I have that for. Um, of course, I would have to move this out of the way. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be painting. And this area here, let me back up a little bit. This area here is where I'm going to be packing all of my orders. So I made sure I got like a regular dining room table. Um, this table I actually got for free off of Craigslist. It was pretty beat up and I just painted it white. And over here is another shelf that actually came with the shed that the previous owner left here and I spray painted it black, the railing. Um, up here, they haven't come in the mail yet, but I'm gonna have like little um, paper dividers. And this is where I'm gonna be keeping all my popular prints that people are always um, ordering. I just wanna have them ready, you know, inventory, basically. So that's where I'm gonna keep all my prints up here. Um, down here is my Cricut machine and um, stickers. So this is going to be my sticker shelf here, dedicated for that. And then down here is where I keep all of my envelopes, my rigid mailers, and this is my wonderful K 
Canon Pixma Pro 100 printer that I would literally die if I don't have that. <laughs> so I love that thing. It's beautiful. It prints beautifully. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, I do need to restock envelopes and stuff, but that's I haven't ordered yet. I ordered this um, today. And up here, I'm actually where I'm going to keep all of my paper for my prints. Again, I have to restock, <laughs> so that's why it's kind of empty. That's the paper that's left over. I um, got to do a little another order and then last this little corner is supposed to be covered up with a curtain i haven't gotten around to it yet but this is going to be my little fake storage area so i have my broom um i'm gonna have more cleaning products over here to clean the studio and that box is full of ink for my printer so yeah this is my brand new studio I'm just gonna do another pan around for you and i just absolutely cannot believe I did all this I'm just so happy with how everything turned out um, I love being in here it's just it's just so calming I always have my music playing and I can work efficiently um, it's actually cold in here right now um, I mean it's fall in New Jersey so I'm gonna be cold um, over here let me go back right there that little bad boy is my space heater that I haven't installed yet so I will be installing that today because I actually need it to be on right now. I'm freezing right now. So yeah, this is my studio space. I am super excited to see all the lovely things I create in here. I think it's really important for a creative to have their own dedicated space for their work. It's not necessarily important. Like it's not going to make or break your career or anything like that. Um, but I do think it's an absolute blessing to have, um, you know, a studio. For you to create and you know since for me anyway it was a hassle sharing a space like sharing my workspace with my living space it was so annoying for me and um you know from for me to have something like this is amazing so yeah i do want to thank you all for taking the tour with me um throughout the years i'm pretty sure i'm going to be changing a lot of things in here that's just how i am um, so any type of updates to the studio or any type of changes, I'm pretty sure I'm going to document it like I've been doing with everything else as far as my art goes. But um, yeah, for now, I pretty I, I like I like the way, the way it is now. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next studio vlog. Peace.